Welcome to the personality spread for Kim Theory. We'll start with her basic personality, which is the seven of pentacles. Now, this person is a farmer who's looking at his crops and waiting patiently for the fruits of his labor. This shows Kim Theory to be a very, very patient person, very connected to nature, and she doesn't hurry up things. She wants, she understands, you know, the cycles of life. She understands that, you know, you can't take shortcuts in life. She also is very patient in, you know, um, when you have to grow plants, it's a long term effort. It is not something like, you know, you put the seeds and you forget about it. Plants have to be tended. They have to be taken care of with love. And she's somebody who does that in her life. She's somebody who works hard and takes care of things with love. In terms of her primary influences, she has this tremendous need inside her for security and to feel safe and to feel, you know, taken care of. That is one of her primary needs and I think that is what she strives for. If you see her past influences, we have the Hierophant, which talks about somebody who is traditional, who is principled. I feel she's somebody who has... Um, gone or when we come from a very traditional household uh, that could be one reason maybe uh, she had to work hard to break away from that and come into showbiz i don't know her past actually so maybe it is that but i feel she all this also talks about somebody who's very principled she has a bunch of principles and she sticks by them the interesting uh, cards about her identity we have the knight of cups and we have the sun this is just an amazing combination the Knight of Cups is a very emotional person, okay, and they take act, they do actions emotionally. They're empathic. They understand emotions very well. And here we have the Sun, which is a very bright, carefree personality, but also the Sun is a very logical personality. So the combination of these two give her an amazing uh, variety of roles, actually, which she can play. You know, she can take the very emotional roles and she can take maybe action-oriented roles also. And that's going to give her an amazing, uh, you know, um, opportunity to, you know, display a lot of variety. I don't think she's the kind who, you know, you she's not the kind who will be stuck in the same kind of role. She's going to do variety of roles because she has the ability to do these two. Then we look at her public uh, life. Her public life is full of collaboration. She's a somebody who I feel uh, believes in a win-win situation. You know, she she brings equally to her projects. She uh, she's uh, loving, helpful. You'll always find her helping out. She will always see what she can do to help somebody else, and uh, that is what I feel about her. She is someone who is you know believes in win-win she's not somebody who's going to like let me take the you know take let me take the meaty role let me take the um the scene or whatever let me you know take over she doesn't have that she brings she believes in being equal and brings equally to the table in a private as i said earlier you know she has this concern about security and her desire is to you know um have a lot of money so that she can be financially independent she doesn't have to depend on anyone that is one of her deep desires and i think she will reach there very soon or she's already reached there in terms of her fears and desire this shows that she is somebody who li likes having a social life but needs a downtime in between okay she's somebody who really has a lot of friends who's celebrating i saw this car this is a car again coming for her maybe it's because of the awards but She's somebody who, it's not that she likes partying, but she likes having people around her. She doesn't want, she's not a loner. But even in all of that, she needs some downtime where she needs to be alone with herself. She wants to be emotionally satisfied and she will get there. You know, she will be, more. she is emotionally satisfied and uh, she doesn't need somebody else to actually, uh, you know, be emotionally available for her. She's enough on her own. She's rather giving rather than taking. So this is a personality reading and I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, do comment and let me know what you know about her, you know, and whether it matches uh, what you know about her. Let's move to the next one.
for some reason her recording didn't you know come out right it didn't complete so i have shown you some screenshots of her, the layout of the uh, of the cards which came in and i have re-recorded this so what came in her past uh, you know spread was uh, in terms of a career was the seven of wands the hermit and the devil this uh, basically to me talks a lot of uh, soul searching happened in her past she had to face a lot of difficulty to where she, uh, to come where she has reached a lot of hardships uh, she had to uh, do a lot of soul searching to understand what she really wanted in her life what kind of roles she really wanted to play and she may have also felt very controlled by maybe somebody who was very dominating in her past in terms of you know she didn't really have a choice in what she wanted to do and uh, she's gone through a lot she has gone through a lot of opposition a lot of competition and she has reached where she has with a lot of difficulty it could be highly possible maybe that her family was opposed to her coming into showbiz uh it could be that for some reason i do feel uh you know she didn't have that uh, support i may have to check it up i don't know it could be that but she had to fight her way through that is what i feel with the seven of wands she had to fight her way through to reach where she wanted to reach but her present times her you know it's amazing because she has the six of wands she has the knight of cups and she has the nine uh, nine of cups such amaze she's in a amazing space she's finally victorious and it's come right under the seven of wands basically she has defeated whoever she had to defeat she has uh, you know shut the mouth of all the naysayers she has come to a position where she's completely emotional satisfied she's strong she knows what she wants and with the nine of cups is like she's going to have so many choices ahead in the future she's going to pick and choose her next role she's going to be able to do whatever she wants and that is going to be completely emotionally satisfactory with her future spread we see the moon the 3 of pentacles and the 10 of cups so you see the 10 of cups has come just right under the 9 of cups and under her victorious uh, you know the 6 of wands we find the moon so i feel there's a need of change she wants to, there's some change which she wants in her maybe she's going to change the role which she's going to play maybe she's going to change her image uh what image she carries right now she desires to you know um, her next role will be something really different it could also mean that she might one day become uh, a director she might go through that path because with the 3 of pentacles i see her collaborating with other people and uh, you know she's a very social person she's very good at collaboration and with the moon and the three of pentacles i feel she's going to reach her and the pinnacle of her life where she reaches when she reaches the you know 10 of cups it's going to be so emotionally satisfying for her and i feel uh, there's a great achievement coming in her life you know even i hear what she is right now so yeah this was a career spread and i hope you all enjoyed this do comment let me know what you'll think about it okay i'll we'll do a simple spread for her love life just give me the past present future of her love life okay her love life is not looking good actually i don't know who she's having in a relationship with but uh, in her past she has had to be very strong you know she's needed all her strength i don't know if this is clear in the video yeah she has been very strong and maybe she's been in a relationship we don't know who it is but uh, she's uh she's needed to be strong in that relationship in the past and if you see her present we have a swore four of swords she's literally look at this she's um a small movement and everything is going to you know it's the sword is going to pierce her she feels secure in this relationship she seems to be at peace but it is not a good place to be in and it is very delicate very very delicate and in the future this is going to she's going to have a lightning bolt from the sky 
bigging her up from this relationship. I don't know who she's seeing at present, but she's. Uh, I think it's completely in private. We don't know who she's seeing, but whoever it is, um, we're not. Uh, it's not going to be good for her, and she's going to. It's going to be quite a energy because it's going to be really hard for her to get over this. But this might also free her, you know, because. She is sitting in illusion. Please, Spirit, let me give you some clarifiers. Why is she in this situation? Please, Spirit, can you give me some clarifiers? Why she is, is she in this situation? Because she is a queen of cups. She is somebody who gives and gives and gives, and that is why she is in this situation. This. Uh, but because one day or the other this, this star is going to come this lightning bolt is going to come from the sky and actually help her move on from this relationship which is not really good for her in any way she is somebody who gives a lot and that is why she is stuck in this relationship anyway on this note I shall end this reading I hope you all enjoyed this uh, reading and if you all did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting in videos as I get time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the support everyone has shown me. I just love reading your comments and I reply as much as I can. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.